one of the hardest challenges, believe it or not, in artificial intelligence research for over 50 years has been what we all know as common sense. The kinds of things that we all know about life. It turns out this is the biggest challenge for AI, getting our systems to understand what it is people refer to in the world, what their, what their intentions are at any moment, what's someone likely to want, what is the meaning behind someone's few words. Um, uh, these, these, this kind of knowledge is not easy to encode in our systems. However, there's a, we're on a nice path to making our systems brighter, uh, and we see some examples of that in, in, in the research labs. The other area is social skills. Um, it turns out that there's a lot, conversation is more or less like a very, very uh, complex tango, dance between two people uh, in the cognitive space versus the musculoskeletal space for a dance. But it's still a dance. Um, fluid conversation, especially with like even more, more than one person, involves not just a simple turn taking, like you might see in today's assistance or on the cell phones, for example, but it's actually a uh, very complicated, fluid uh, operation where people are breaking in uh, and so on and, and um, uh, starting over again and reflecting um, and listening uh, all at the same time sometimes. Computer servers that we have at the moment, are they powerful enough to do it? Are we just waiting for the right algorithms or do we still need more computer power to be able to do this? Wow, that's a very interesting question. Um, uh, certainly computing power and uh, the, the incredible um, uh, increases in computation we have had uh, over the last uh, decade and the increases we're seeing, I think um, has been enabling. But I never like to say that we won't um, solve many bottlenecks to our intellect. Uh, coming up with new methods, new representations, new data structures, as we call them, uh, new procedures, new algorithms. So it's, it's both. Having the sheer computation is very, very important. Uh, certainly speeding up analysis is, is important. Uh, in our dialogue systems here, like the one by my door that uh, I speak to every morning on the way in, that works with people coming down the hallway here, we call the assistant. That system actually processes and understands its own delays in its pipeline and uses that information in even deciding when to break in and so on, because it knows uh, about its computation limitations and those kinds of gaps will close over time as we get more, you know, even more powerful computing, computers supporting the dialogue systems. But I don't want to give short shrift to the, the, the incredible opportunity to solve problems in conversational systems with our intellect, with computer science technology, with, with breakthroughs that come from our laboratories. A lot of what you're describing, though, is still finding better ways for these computers to carry out tasks. Obviously, what you see in the movies is this idea that it's a real personality that people are interacting with. Do you think that that's actually going to happen, or is that just some screenwriter's dream? Well, I do think that um, personality will be important, and we'll be encoding personality. Um, uh, when I come in the morning here, uh, the assistant by my door recognizes me uh, and in a very nice British voice says, good morning, Eric, and gives me a big smile because it's me. And I always feel, wow, I feel that emotion. Uh, and I enjoy it even though I know it's artificial. Um, I do think we'll be able to come up with very compelling and engaging personalities. However, uh, unlike the kinds of things we see in the movies, um, uh, there will probably for many years to come won't be anybody home in the way people would expect or would desire to have an, uh, some sort of a, a sentience, uh, a consciousness, uh, somebody really there that I can talk to sort of like a person, as opposed to uh, an artificial um, uh, uh, front-facing uh, digital experience that sort of seems real, uh, but it's not. Doesn't mean it can't be compelling. I, I have to ask you, there's a lot of speculation about uh, Microsoft launching a, 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 its own AI. Uh, some people are called, saying it's going to be Cortana um, from the Halo video games. Can you tell me anything about what uh, your plans are, when we might actually see something that the public can use from your company? Well, I'll just say that um, uh, personal assistance, uh, mobile and across devices, uh, are very, very important uh, uh, 
direction for Microsoft and for Microsoft Research.